Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my beginner's guide to crafting at Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood Edition. So the very first thing that you guys want to do before crafting actually, is get your battle class or whatever your main is to 70. By doing this, you'll be able to unlock all the zones in Stormblood. This is crucial because when you'll be collecting your own materials, you want to have every zone unlocked. You also want to unlock flying. Flying will make things so much easier when you're doing your own gathering for your own materials because you don't have to worry about going through obstacles like the mobs or around landscape. You can just pick up your, your mount and just fly right to the areas and collect your materials. So getting your job to 71st is, is the most important thing you want to start to do first. The second thing, as always, go to your guildmaster and pick up your level 60 job quest. You'll get a nice chunk of um, experience, some gill, crystals, and three crafting manuals that will give you up to 300,000 experience points, 150% more, making it a lot easier to get your experience now, of course. You only will get 24 crafting manuals if you do all eight of your crafts. So try to use them very sparingly. But you also can get more later on through your grand company and also uh, scripts. The thing with Stormblood is the crafting for class quests is a little bit different. Instead of now going out into the open world getting materials or just buying off the market board and cheating the system, they will give you a specific list of items for your class quests and they will supply the materials for you. So there's no more cheating the system. You're actually gonna have to do this yourself. It's nice that they do this for you because I got kind of sick and tired of having to go out there into my crafting lock and get all the materials just to make the stupid thing. And if you don't make it high quality, you have to do it all over again and it's a pain in the ass. By them giving you the materials needed, you don't really have to worry about that anymore. So that's a little nice little thing that they did in Stormblood, which was should have done a long time ago. And you don't need your master recipe books like you do in Heaven's Ward, which is nice. Alright, so pretty much after you're done with your guild master, you of course want to do your grand company turn-ins. Now, unfortunately, because you're level 60, you're still are going to be doing Heaven's Ward items. So once you get to level 61, these will change into Stormblood items. So you're just going to have to deal with Heaven's Ward crafting just a little bit longer. If any of these are starred, you will get double the experience points. And if it's high quality, you'll get even more. So you get triple. So make sure that you make all these high quality because it's a lot of experience. They will be passing up if you don't do that. But these will give you a giant chunk of experience along with your class quest so you'll be in 61 in no time after that is pretty much done you want to go back to doing his lowly a leopold at level 61 you are set have a set amount of experience that you'll get at level 60. it's always going to be three thousand three hundred and twelve thousand nine hundred if it's a bonus you'll get even more as you can see with gathering, it's the same thing, but if it's a bonus, you get a, a giant chunk more than what you would get. And you also will get more red scripts. So by doing slow and lethal every week, of course, by the time you hit level 61, I think this becomes irrelevant. Let me just quickly go ahead and check on my gatherer. So I am at 63 with it. Okay, the experience will still go up, even if you're past 60. So this will uh, continue to grow when you are 60 and above. So, which is which is good. So you always will be using her. Since the other custom deliveries don't get unlocked until you're at least 70 in Stormblood, Zloe is going to be your best friend, basically, pretty much for a week or two. Depending on how long it takes for you to get the... the basically, how long it takes you to get the 70 to unlock the rest of the custom delivery clients. All right, so basically once you have exhausted your grand company turn-ins for the day and custom deliveries, you are basically stuck with doing either scripts 
or basically crafting everything in your crafting log. Basically, you're going to want to do everything in your crafting log because every time you make a new item, that is a completion bonus plus the item you get for making it high quality or normal quality, whatever. And of course, you get at least one Heaven Sword item to make for each crafting class. Of course, I think they will change depending on when they reset. If you get a star, you're gonna get a, a bigger reward if it's if it's, if it's not. As you can notice, you can't really do Heaven's Ward items anymore because they only give you 10,000 experience. So it's really not worth doing it. So always do the first one that they give you in Stormblood. So another reason why you want to do your main story first is because the Lev quests for Stormblood are in Kugane. And you pretty much want to unlock those immediately so you also can add in your lev quests into the mix now i already made videos on which lev quests are repeatable and which ones give you the most experience i have all the videos on all of them except culinarian i kind of stopped that culinarian for some reason but in the end i'll probably make the video for that as well so you guys know what's lev quests to do for culinarian as well so when you get the kugane through the main story it's important to unlock them immediately Hopefully, if you took a break from, from Final Fantasy XIV, your love quests should be at max. I think mine are. Yes, I have 100 allowances, so I have a lot to burn. So if you have a lot, to start burning off your love quests as well. So other than that, you really don't have any other abilities to work with. So the rotation that I showed you last time in my last video of Heaven's Ward, it's still relevant until you at least start getting your new abilities the old rotation I showed you from Heaven's Ward should uh, suffice for now until you start getting all these nice little abilities which make crafting so much easier especially at level 66 crafting becomes so much easier because these abilities are so OP So guys, that is pretty much going to be it for this little introductory to crafting in Stormblood. So make sure that you do everything that I've mentioned in this video. Some of them are weekly, some of them are daily, but make sure you get them done. Whatever crafting class you want to level up first, it's up to you. Each crafting class has the same abilities from Stormblood. It's something that they should have done a long time ago. But it doesn't matter which crafting class you level up, they all have the same abilities. So whichever you want to do, go right ahead and do it. But make sure that you do your Grand Company turn-ins, make sure you do your, your Guildmaster quest, and make sure you do everything in your crafting log, and make sure you do the Moogle Beast Tribe if you deem them worthy of doing it, even for the 30,000 experience. Because 30,000 experience is worth it, it's free experience, so it's pretty much up to you. Alright guys, so in the next video, I will be showing you guys how to unlock the Namazu Beast Tribe, which is the crafting beast tribe of Heaven's War on Stormblood. And the most important thing about it is that they are able to level up your gatherers as well. But it's most important that you use them for your gather uh, crafters. So we will cover that in the next video. And there is a lot of prerequisite things you need to do before you unlock that. So please look forward to it. Alright guys, so Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you found this useful. Any comments, questions you have, please leave them in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood content and of course the continuation of my crafting series. So until next time, may you forever walk in the light of Lord Bahamut. Take care guys.